Welcome to the channel. If you're a fan of Formula One, you've probably observed that many drivers choose to take a pit stop when there's a safety car or a virtual safety car. In this video, we will explore how teams gain an advantage by pitting under safety car conditions. Let's get started. In Formula One, there are two different types of safety cars, the real safety car and the virtual safety car. The virtual safety car is not a real car. Instead, it's a lap time determined by the FIA for each individual racetrack that racers have to follow under caution. The main difference between the virtual safety car and the safety car is that the safety car bunches the drivers together while the virtual safety car does not. For this video, we will focus on safety car pit stop strategy. But if you would like to learn more about safety car or virtual safety car rules and regulations, refer to my detailed videos linked in the description below. Let's look at a few scenarios to understand safety car pit stop strategy. Assume that three cars A, B and C are racing each other under normal racing conditions. All three cars have not pitted in the race. The situation is that the safety car comes out on track. What would be the best strategy? The best thing would be for all three cars to take a pit stop immediately. In safety car conditions, lap times are slowed by about 60%. So if a lap normally takes 100 seconds, a lap under the safety car will take about 160 seconds. In addition, the cars will get bunched together. Let's assume the safety car stays out three laps. By the end of the second lap, all cars would have been bunched together. In this case, it is not smart to take a pit stop because track position will be lost. Note that there is no overtaking under safety car conditions. At initial glance, it seems like it would be a good idea for car C to stay out if car A or car B take a pit stop. This would result in car C gaining track position. Most likely, however, after the race restart, car C will probably lose position to the cars behind who are on fresher tires. In addition, car C will take longer to take a pit stop under normal racing conditions. Let's look at a slightly different scenario. Assume that cars A, B and C have already pitted and there's only three laps left in the race and the situation is that the safety car comes out on track. What would be the best strategy in this case? Well, in this case, it would be best for all three cars not to pit, because it is highly likely that the race will end under safety car conditions. Since there's no overtaking under safety car conditions, a driver who pits could lose track position. For example, if car A pits in this scenario, he would lose position to B and C who decided to stay out. Now let's look at a third scenario where cars A, B and C have taken a pit stop and have relatively new tires. The situation is that the safety car comes out on track. Here there are a lot of strategic possibilities. Since all cars have already taken their mandatory pit stop, the race strategist will determine the strategy based on the speed of the car and the tire compound the team would prefer to have on. The strategist plays a key role here. In this situation, car A can either pit or stay out. Car B can do the opposite to car A, meaning if car A pits, then car B stays out and vice versa. Car C has multiple options. He can pit opposite to A, opposite to B, or opposite to A and B. Now let's return back to the first scenario. A, B and C are racing each other under normal conditions and all three cars have not pitted in the race. The situation is that the virtual safety car comes out on track. The best strategy again would be for all three cars to pit. Under virtual safety car conditions, lap times are slowed by about 40%. So if a normal lap takes 100 seconds, a lap under the virtual safety car will take about 140 seconds. It is important to note here that cars do not get bunched together. Now let's assume that cars A, B and C have already taken a pit stop and then the virtual safety car comes out on the track. In this situation, there are a lot of strategic possibilities. Since the virtual safety car does not bunch the drivers together, the optimal strategy is to take a pit stop for fresh tires if there's a large enough gap to the car behind. Let's assume under normal racing conditions a pit stop loses about 20 seconds. Under the virtual safety car, the effective time lost will come to around 10 to 12 seconds since all cars are traveling slower. If we imagine a situation where car A was ahead of car B by 15 seconds, car A could take a pit stop for fresh tires and still come out a few seconds ahead of car B. Under normal racing conditions, he would have come out 5 seconds behind car B and even behind car C. Teams often use the term safety car window. For example, driver A might be informed, Perez is in your safety car window. This means that Perez will pass driver A if he were to take a pit stop under virtual safety car or safety car conditions. Hope this video has helped you understand safety car and virtual safety car pit stop strategies. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.